The inquiry into what preceded the Big Bang has sparked discussion and interest. It's been a big mystery for a long time, not just about how we might understand the universe, but also about the limits of human knowledge. Imagine standing on the edge of everything, considering what was there before the universe began. The Big Bang marks the start of everything we are aware of, space, time and matter. But was there something before it? Could there have been a time before this incredible event? And if so, what was it like for us? To explore this question, science takes us on a journey into ideas that challenge what we think we know. Famous physicist Brian Cox, who's known for explaining the wonders of the universe, suggests that something amazing might have existed before the Big Bang. He asks us to think differently about reality and existence. In this discussion, we'll break down the science and ideas that might help us understand what came before everything we know. We'll look at theories about quantum changes, dark energy, and even the possibility of multiple universes. The answers might surprise you, and they could change the way we understand our place in the universe. Let's dive into a world where mysteries lie beyond imagination, still baffle scientists, and occasionally leave them questioning everything. To understand what existed before the Big Bang, we must first comprehend what the Big Bang actually was. Scientists say the Big Bang was the moment when the universe became extremely hot and compacted, rapidly expanding and starting the development of matter and energy. When we look at the stars and galaxies today, we see evidence of that explosive beginning, as galaxies spread out from a starting point. But why did this happen? And was there anything before this hot start? As suggested by the theory of cosmic inflation before the Big Bang, the universe was cold, empty and void. But this void was not entirely devoid. It had a lot of energy that caused the rapid expansion of space itself. This rapid growth, called inflation, happened so fast that it set the stage for everything that came after. This expansion slowed down, and the energy became matter and the forces we see today as the Big Bang. But how did this energy get there? Where did it come from? And why did it suddenly make the universe? Some scientists believe that this inflation created patches of the universe, each with its own fabric. An image of the Big Bang stretching endlessly, with bubbles forming one at a time, each representing a different universe, including our own. This idea, called the inflationary multiverse, suggests that there could be an infinite number of Big Bangs and universes. Our own universe is just one of many. This mind-blowing idea challenges how we think about the universe and prompts the inquiry of what came before. Alternatively, the concept of nothingness before the Big Bang is speculative, not based on facts. But even if all energy, particles, and radiation were removed, the universe would still not be truly empty. It would be filled with dark matter, dark energy, and quantum fields, forces and energies that make up the fabric of everything, even in empty space. Even if we imagine stripping away all these forces, space would still have new kinds of energy. This alone is puzzling for scientists, as it suggests that true nothingness may be impossible. Space itself in our universe has qualities, rules, and constants that prevent it from being totally empty. Imagine a region with literally nothing in it. No particles, no energy, and no radiation, just quantum fields and constants. These fields would still exist, meaning that even this absence has properties. One such property is called zero-point energy the smallest possible energy level of quantum fields. Even at this state, particles can suddenly appear and disappear, creating a strange form of activity even in what should be a void. This challenges our concept of nothingness and suggests that even before the Big Bang, something might have existed, something scientists are still trying to understand. One of the most surprising ideas in modern science is the concept of eternal inflation. If inflation could create our universe, it might continue forever. Brian Cox talks about a huge, endless inflationary multiverse where universes are constantly being created and expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a spark that starts a new universe, while inflation continues in other areas, creating countless other universes. This process could, in theory, go on forever. This idea of new universes giving birth to others is fascinating, offering the possibility of a fractal universe, where each new universe creates its own Big Bang. Each universe would be separate, not affected by others because space is expanding so quickly. For scientists, 
This idea is both exciting and unsettling, because it suggests that the universe has neither a beginning nor an end. Consider our universe as a mere fragment of a much bigger, endless design, always creating new universes and expanding. What if the truth is that there is no end or beginning, but rather a never-ending cycle of universes being born and dying? Based on this theory, field theory, the universe isn't just a collection of matter floating in space. It's a complex network of energy fields that interact to create everything we see. These fields are like invisible oceans, with particles acting like waves or disturbances. Even when these fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and vanish in these areas, taking energy and then returning it. This results in virtual particles. Particles that only briefly exist before disappearing, leaving only a faint trace of their existence. The idea of virtual particles challenges the idea of complete emptiness. Imagine a totally empty universe with no matter or energy. Would you really have nothing? According to quantum field theory, no. You would still have fields that are constantly active, sometimes creating particles. This constant activity in what should be empty space shows that the universe doesn't recognize our idea of nothing. These fields and forces keep going, filling space with hidden energy that prevents the complete emptiness we might expect. This raises an interesting question. If fields create particles and particles create matter, could the universe itself have come from nothing? A space filled with quantum fields? Dark energy is a mysterious force that is causing the universe to expand faster and faster. But did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? Some scientists think that the dark energy we see today could be the leftover energy from before our universe began to appear. Dark energy's properties suggest it may have existed in some form before the Big Bang. Some theories suggest that dark energy, in a stronger form, might have driven the rapid expansion of the early universe. The fact that dark energy exists suggests that even if all matter and radiation were removed from the universe, this force would keep expanding space. This idea raises a troubling question. Did dark energy previously exist? The Big Bang may have resulted in the circumstances that created our universe. As we think about this possibility, we confront the concept of dark energy. Not just as a force shaping our universe, but as a way of understanding the multiverse itself. Another theory, cyclic cosmology, provides a different view of the Big Bang. Instead of seeing it as a one-time event, it argues that the universe experiences birth-death cycles that never end. In this perspective, the Big Bang is not the beginning but a rebirth, only a part of an enduring cycle where universes grow, collapse, and are reborn. This theory suggests that our universe could have emerged from the remains of a past one. The cycle of expansion and contraction means that there was never a true beginning, but an eternal sequence of universes being born and dying. If time is not linear but rather cyclical, and this theory is true, it means that what existed before the Big Bang was a different universe, one that ended and created the universe we know. For scientists, this idea offers a satisfying response to the question of beginnings, suggesting that the universe has always existed in some form, beyond our current ideas of time and existence. Waves of gravitational attraction are another concept that could help us understand what happened before the Big Bang. These waves, which Einstein's theory of general relativity predicted and which were later discovered, show that our universe has deep, vibrating movements. Gravitational waves could, in theory, let us look back further than ever before. Possibly even beyond the Big Bang. They could give us clues about what happened before the universe started showing if other forces or even other universes had an impact on how ours formed. Scientists hope that gravitational waves will provide evidence from the time before the Big Bang, assisting in breaking through the limitations of time and revealing an era previously thought unknowable. As we consider the preceding events before the Big Bang, we are clearly at the edge of current scientific understanding. Many mysteries remain and what we know now may be just a small part of what will be uncovered as we continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge. But the question still stands. What truly existed before everything? The answer may be stranger and more incredible than we ever imagined. As we continue to explore the origins of the universe and the possibilities surrounding the previous Big Bang, we dive deeper into the realms of speculative science. While some ideas challenge the limits of our understanding, 
Others offer fresh perspectives on how the universe might have come into existence. One thing remains clear. The nature of the universe is full of surprises, and the mysteries of its origins might be even more complex than we can imagine. One possible theory is that the universe has gone through periods of growth and contraction, as suggested by the concept of the Big Crunch. In this theory, the universe could eventually collapse in on itself, only to explode in another Big Bang, restarting the cycle. This cyclical model suggests that the universe may not have a true beginning or end, but continues in a cycle of births and rebirths, where each new cycle creates a new version of the universe. As science progresses, we might find solutions to these profound questions. But for now, the mystery of what existed before the Big Bang continues to intrigue and inspire curiosity. As we investigate the deeper mysteries of this question, it is important to realize that much of the research around these ideas is still highly speculative. While we can observe the current organization of the universe and study its origins through the Big Bang, what truly happened before this event is still beyond our reach. This does not imply that the search is fruitless. Rather, the journey itself may reveal more about the fabric of reality than we could ever have imagined. One of the most profound aspects of cosmology is the role of time itself. The Big Bang symbolizes the dawn of time and space as we comprehend them. Therefore, the question of before becomes problematic. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time and space are not separate entities but are part of a single, interconnected fabric known as space-time. This means that asking what occurred prior to the Big Bang could be meaningless, because time itself may not have existed before that event. If time is tied to the birth of the universe, there might have been no before to speak of at all. The concept of before the Big Bang poses another paradox. In a universe where space and time were created simultaneously, how can we use our conventional understanding of past, present, and future? Could it be that time itself is cyclical or not bound to a linear progression? This leads us to the idea of time as a dimension, one that could stretch and compress, evolve and loop, without a fixed beginning. Concepts like these challenge our human intuition, constantly reminding us that the universe operates according to laws that transcend everyday experience and perception. In the search for answers, one theory that has gained traction among physicists is the idea of quantum turbulence as the source of the universe. In quantum mechanics, particles can spontaneously appear and disappear, a process that seems to arise from nothing. This is known as quantum fluctuation. Could the universe as a whole have emerged from such a fluctuation in a quantum field? This would mean that the universe as we know it, might have emerged from a nothingness that wasn't truly nothing, but a fluctuating quantum field. This view suggests that even before the Big Bang, there might have been some sort of quantum void filled with potential energy, but not matter in the form we recognize today. Yet, there are still more unconventional concepts that challenge our understanding. One theory posits that our universe could have originated from a cyclical model with a big bounce, in which each Big Bang is a rebirth following the extinction of an earlier universe. In this model, the universe goes through an infinite series of contractions and expansions, continually collapsing under gravity and then exploding again, starting a new growth cycle. It's possible that our current universe was preceded by another, which collapsed into a singularity only to give birth to the observable universe. This theory draws upon ideas from string theory and quantum gravity, but also raises questions about what causes these cycles and how they might continue indefinitely. Interestingly, as our observational tools and technology improve, we may one day seek out indirect evidence supporting these speculative ideas. Projects like the James Webb Space Telescope are providing astronomers with new perspectives on the universe, capturing light from distant galaxies and uncovering clues about the conditions at the beginning of the universe. By studying cosmic phenomena like the cosmic microwave background radiation, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, researchers hope to learn more about the earliest moments after that event. In doing so, they might come across evidence that could help us peer further into the origins of the universe and even explore what came before. There is also the tantalizing possibility that advanced physics, still in its youth, will eventually expose deeper layers of reality. Physicists working on unifying the theories of general relativity and quantum mechanics may help us comprehend circumstances prior to the Big Bang. The theory of quantum gravity, for example, 
attempts to describe the behavior of space and time at extremely small scales, where both gravity and quantum effects are significant. If successful, these efforts might one day produce a clearer picture of the universe's origins and allow us to investigate what existed before the Big Bang. Some concepts even entertain the notion that our universe might not be the only one. The multiverse theory suggests we are merely one of many universes. In this view, each universe would have its own set of physical laws, constants and properties. Our universe, with its particular arrangement of matter and energy, might simply be one of many in an endless, ever-expanding cosmic structure. This idea also opens up the possibility of parallel universes, where events unfold differently from what we experience in our own. The concept of a multiverse changes our comprehension of the Big Bang, suggesting that our universe is just one of countless others that have emerged through similar or different processes. Despite the immense challenge of answering what existed before the Big Bang, the pursuit of knowledge continues to expand the horizon of human understanding. As scientists explore quantum mechanics, cosmology, and the fundamental forces of nature, the answers to these questions may eventually emerge. Whether we discover evidence of a pre-Big Bang universe, uncover new insights into the nature of time and space, or stumble upon entirely new concepts that challenge everything we know, one thing is certain. The universe's mysteries are vast, and we have only begun to scratch the surface. While the question of what came before the Big Bang may never be completely answered in our lifetime, the pursuit itself highlights humanity's deepest desire. To comprehend where we come from, what the universe is made of, and what forces govern the cosmos. This quest for knowledge may lead to new paradigms in science and philosophy. We seek not only to understand the origins of the universe but also to grasp the fundamental principles that govern existence itself. The search for truth, no matter how elusive, will continue to push the boundaries of human thought and scientific discovery.